Welcome back, everyone. Did you know one American dies from melanoma every hour? Every hour. That's it's a scary, staggering. scary mm -hmm. statistic. However, if it's detected early, it's highly curable. So joining us now to talk about a free screening is Dr. Eric Alexander. Welcome to the Morning Blend. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I think this is um, a shocking statistic, you know, and, and one of those that we all need to be concerned about is that one in five Americans are diagnosed with skin cancer in their lifetime, but it's one of those things that oftentimes can be detected early. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and skin cancer is by far and away the most common type of cancer, and when they report cancer statistics, it's important to remember that they're often leaving out some of the most common types of skin cancers because that would dwarf um, all of the other numbers. Uh, and when you're talking about some of the more serious types Types like melanoma, uh, you're exactly right that very early detection uh, can lead to great outcomes and people do very well. But if it's left for a long period of time and becomes more advanced, it, it becomes very, very lethal. It seems like more and more people know about melanoma and yet it's still, isn't it one of the fastest rising cancers? It is. And, you know, we, we think about it much as we think about, say, lung cancer with smoking. Um, a lot of it is sort of poor behaviors mm -hmm. and people uh, intentionally tanning, going to tanning salons or getting it from the sun. Um, and uh, uh, that's why we're sort of seeing this epidemic of skin cancer in, in groups like young people even. Uh, people age 25 to 29, melanoma is the single most common type of cancer that they get. You think with all the information on wearing SPFs and sunscreens and broadbands and this and that that we're, we're told to be using all the time, that the numbers would be going down. Is it because of our past exposure that they're still rising? And that's a great point. Uh, people do get a lot of exposure early on in mm -hmm. life. It's never too late. Late to, to make a good change, a positive change, and, and start to wear sunscreen. Uh, but also, you know, we know that, that tanning, it's, it's very socially acceptable. A lot of people mm -hmm. like that tanned look. Uh, and we try to encourage people that pale can be a good look. Pale is beautiful. Look at Prince Poppycock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's got that style going for him. He's very And tan. Hathaway <laughs> has, has famously stopped using tanners. And yeah, and, and that's sort of the message that as dermatologists we'd like to promote that we, we don't need this societal drive toward having that tan. We don't like to think of the healthy tan anymore because it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, a tan is your body's response to DNA damage. Mm -hmm. I like to tell people it's your skin trying to protect itself from your brain's poor decisions. Um, but it, it still doesn't protect you that much. You still right. accumulate more ultraviolet exposure. It makes you look older. Uh, mm -hmm. It gives you wrinkles, harms your skin tone, and importantly, leads to skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about these screenings because I think this is a wonderful opportunity for people who've never gotten a scan. What what will they expect when they come to these screenings? They're in several locations all over this area. Yeah, so on Saturday, May 4th, we'll have uh, uh, screenings going on all over southeast Wisconsin. Um, I'll be out in my clinic in Wauwatosa, but we're everywhere from Sheboygan to Kenosha. Uh, so you can go to our website and find more information. It's a pretty simple process. We'll just come in. Uh, we'll uh, get you in a room and in a gown, ask mm -hmm. you if you have any particular spots spots that you've noticed that are new or changing. What about, I'm going to show you a spot. Ab absolutely, this is, we get oh, that all the time. This is how easy yeah. it is, right? Because I have a mole on my shoulder that I worry about. This is pretty much what you do, right? You would look exactly. at a mole and what? And, and so we look at it and sometimes we'll use magnifying tools uh, to sort of scrutinize it and look to see if it has any of the features that concern us. And Does I can this? say with this one, <laughs> it looks quite regular. It's nice, okay. round, homogenous. Uh, it looks like a very reassuring one, but exactly. This is basically what we do. I'm not reassured by it. <laughs> 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 This is what we do, so it's simple, it's it's painless, um, and, and we'll let you know if we find anything that we're concerned about. And then what okay. happens next after that? If there's something that you are concerned about, what, what can some of these people sure. do? We'll give you all of the information, give you a sheet of paper that, that specifically highlights where the spots are that we're concerned mm -hmm. about and what we think they might be. Um, and you can schedule an appointment with us or a different dermatologist or your primary care provider to sort of take a closer look at this and potentially uh, do something diagnostic, such as a biopsy. So wonderful. Okay, so I want to uh, just read a couple all the characteristics real quick before I give the information on where to go, but things like change in size, color, symmetry, bleeding or crusting, any of those issues on a mole or a spot on your body should be checked every year because you can't always see some of the spots on your body that may have moles, it, Exactly, and you know, uh, moles in, in difficult to see places like the, the bottoms of the feet, those can be very deadly. Bob Marley died of something like that just mm -hmm. because there are a lot of areas on our body that we don't look that frequently. Mm -hmm. So uh, getting checked is always a good idea. You really need a physician to be looking at that. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, here are the locations. It's going on again Saturday, May 4th. It's from 9 to 1. There's a list of them. This will again be on our website, so you can feel free to rewatch this segment later. But Beaver Dam, Glendale, Grafton, Kenosha, Racine, Sheboygan, and Wauwatosa are the locations on Saturday the 4th, again from 9 to 1. You can schedule an appointment with the dermatologist of Wisconsin by visiting their website at dermwisconsin.com or calling them at 1-855-DERM-WIS as well. That's where you can also get a hold of Dr. Eric Alexander for more information uh, if you can't make it to one of those free screenings. So nice of you to be here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.